Hello Linux fans and welcome to this series in Tech Talk with Chad. My Linux Mint 9 Fluxbox RC Adventure. Now my first two videos I gave you a teaser of the series and I did my first boot. And now I'm going to be installing the Fluxbox RC itself. So I'm going to cut towards it and I'll see you in a second where I'll start the installation. And we are back, just finishing up the boot here. And I played around with Fluxbox for a few minutes after last night's recording. And I finally figured out how to work it. As you can see, it's very minimalist. And at first, I thought I got stuck loading, since it's right here. Because, I mean, there was no place to navigate. Then I realized everything is in the right click. How awesome is that? Everything in a menu you get from right clicking. Uh, very minimalistic and very cool. So to install it, right click, install. And that's that simple. So, loading up the installer here for the first time. Oh, okay, the second time, but I quit it right away. Select my language as English. Because I do speak English. Sort of obvious. The time is off. 22.21. It's not... It's not no, it's it's not it's ten thirty. It's four twenty. Okay, reaching Canada time zone, Canada, Edmonton. There we go, our time zone is correct. And which layout is most similar to your keyboard? USA. I don't even really need to do anything, it's all the options are already most of there. Erase and use the entire disk. Yes. Because this is a fresh disk. And you can just see the sleekness of this UI in Fluxbox. It's a very nice operating system. Very clean. What's my name? Choose a password. Strength is fair. What is the name of this computer? Chat desktop. Forward. Since I'm not streaming live, I don't really have the live audience to name my computer for me, so I'm just going to go for the drab, boring, default one. Okay, install. And, uh, ooh, this is, this is going pretty fast. Um, so here's the installation. And to save you some, some boringness, I am going to cut the video now. And I will resume in a bit. Now remember the time, 16.23, and we'll see how long it takes to install it. Hey everyone, and welcome to Linux Mint 9, and we are done the installation. As you can see, it took 7 minutes from 4.23, or 16.23 down in the corner, to 16.30, or 4.30. 7 minutes installation time. That is incredible, and it's done. Installation is finished, you can continue testing Linux Mint now, but... Until you restart the computer, any changes you make or documents you save will not be preserved. So, we'll restart now. And really, that's the installation. Seven minutes. Um, which is amazing. 600 megabytes as a downloadable ISO. And a seven minute installation time. This is a really lightweight operation. And, um, honestly, I'm actually surprised. Because I know Linux is lightweight. But previous versions of Linux I've tested have taken like maybe 20 minutes, at uh, 15 minutes at the least, to install. Uh, and Windows, that's like an hour. But this, 7 minutes. You go out, make a cup of coffee, then you're done. I mean, really, I'm amazed at the installation time on this operating system. And the loading times. The boot time is... Uh, it's pretty good. Not good as Windows 7, I will admit. It is a, it, it, but the the boot time is pretty pretty quick. Uh, and everything about this operating system is lightweight and quick. So I'm logged in. And really, that's all to this part of the series. In the uh, now, I'm gonna do some more playing around with Fluxbox, and in the next and final part of the series. I will be giving my full review and thoughts on this incredible operating system. So, that's all for this video. 
and subscribe if you haven't already uh, to be notified of future videos. Stay tuned for the next part of my series, which I should get to you maybe tomorrow, tonight. Uh, and have a great day.